In this tutorial, we will be creating a portal that look like this in Blender EV. Tap, aapka aawaz kider dekhele lagta hai mere ko. Maine bhi tera thobra kider sunne la lagta hai. Aisa na, bitters bitters ha. For this tutorial, we specifically need Blender 2.9. The reason will be revealed later. So, let us start creating. At first, press 1 on numpad for front view. Then add a bezier circle and rotate it minus 90 degree on x axis. Next, add a plane and scale it down. Then, go to object constraint and add a follow path constraint to the plane. Select Bezier Circle as target, then enable Fixed Position, Curve Radius and Follow Curve. Change Forward Axis to X and change Up Axis to Y. Now, it's time to animate this offset factor which will move our plane along the circle. At frame 1, make sure offset factor is 0. Press I or right click on offset factor to insert a keyframe at frame 1. Then go to frame 10, change offset factor to 1 and keyframe it again. We can see that the plane is now moving along the circle, but we want this movement to be cyclic. So, move the mouse cursor down to timeline where we have our keyframes. Press Shift E there and select cyclic option. Now, the plane is going to move along the circle till last frame. Change last frame to 360 and also go to dimensions and change frame rate to 30 fps. Next, add an icosphere, scale it down and move it aside. Then, select the plane, go to particle properties and add a particle system. Change number to 25,000, start frame is to 2, end frame is to 270, lifetime is to 30 and lifetime randomness to 1. Then go to source where it should emit from volume and distribution should be random. Next in velocity setting bring normal down to 0.25 and move object velocity up to 0 0.1. Enable this rotation setting and keep everything as it is. Then inside physics setting, go to forces and change Brownian to 0 0.5 and damp to 0 0.015. In render setting, set render as object and select that icosphere as instance object. Change scale to 0 0.2 and scale randomness to 1. Also make sure to check this object rotation option. Then go to children option and enable this simple child particle tab. Change render amount to 10 size is to 1, random size is to 1, radius is to 0 0.35 and roundness to 1. Lastly, go to field weights and bring gravity down to 0 0.15. If we play, we can see it is kind of creating a portal. Now, 
let's add a material to the icosphere which is our instance object for this particle system select the icosphere go to material tab and add an emission shader with a strength of around 15 also go to render property tab and enable bloom for now the particles are of same color which is white but we want the center base particles to be white and the outer edge particles to be red just like a flame or fire so let us go to shader editor and add a color ramp then add a wave texture followed by an object info node we could have done this thing with particle info but particle info did not work with ev so first connect this color ramp to emission shader select this black point and change its color to something between red and orange similarly select this white point and change its color to something like yellowish white next connect this factor of wave texture to color ramp in wave texture change wave type to ring x axis to spherical and keep the profile as sin then scale it down to 0.1 and set face offset to 3 finally connect this location point of object info with vector of wave texture you can now see we have almost achieved that flame look go to color ramp again and move this red orange point towards center to have more density of this color let us see what we did here in shader editor basically we assume this portal as a circular plane where we want this center base to be yellowish white and the outer edge to be a mixture of red and orange so we added color ramp for those two colors and connected it to a wave texture in wave texture we changed the wave shape to ring so that we could get the circular waves we then scaled this wave down to have only two wave rings then we added an object info node which helped to place these two wave rings perfectly we connected the location point of object info to the vector of wave texture and changed this phase offset to get our desired result finally Let's bake this particle system. Now, if we render one frame, we see no motion blur on our flame. Just go back to render property tab, enable motion blur and drop down its settings. So, in Blender 2.9 versions, this object motion blur has been added for ev which was previously working in cycles render only change position to start on frame move shutter speed to 1 and change max blur to 96 pixels now if we render a frame we will finally get something like this Thank you and consider subscribing.